all the mounts of greenery. Palace, which could have been a castle. Where do you think it is? Leave that up to your imaginations and I look forward to seeing the one person who replies. <laughs> because these are all very quiet. Anyway. This is the Garnier district. It's famous for being home to Heimdall Opera House, as well as a bunch of expensive jewelers and hotels. So it's kind of an entertainment district then. Doesn't seem kind of like the place we'd be spending much time in at least. There's a casino in one of the clubs around here too. It probably goes without saying, but it's completely off limits to us. I have to admit it, I'm curious. Babe. <laughs> I could do without a casino, but I'd love to see something at the Opera House someday. I mean, they're offered all the face of Edithonian cup. Culture after all. I'd love to see one too, especially if I could get one of the box seats. It must be amazing to earn such high praise from YouTube. But right now we've got requests to take care of, so let's take a look at it. I find an idea. Uh, not in there. Uh, that's the opera house they were just on about. Where is this who's up? Wait. Dare Hemel. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. Hello. Welcome to Dare Hemel. Excuse us, we're here to learn more about the requests we received from this hotel. Is the manager available? You should know if, who we are if you mentioned that we're from Mel Thor's Military Academy. Oh yes, we've heard all about you. Unfortunately, however, Noble had to leave on urgent business. He should be back during the afternoon though, so might I request that you return then. And if that's the case, there isn't much for us to do if he isn't here, so leaving this request for later does seem like our only option. Yeah, let's go take care of the others then. Got it. I can't take care of the others, we've done them all. Alright. Well, you should take a break. <laughs> what is on else? Ah. After visiting the assigned areas and completing their mandatory tasks, Veen and Group A contacted Group B. Noon had long since passed, so both the groups gathered in, and gathered in Vanekur Street's department store for a late lunch. I just want I just want you all to know I don't normally eat that much. Considering the size of the capital, I'm not surprised you worked up such an appetite when I got out. <laughs> well, I guess now we ought to have plenty of energy to make some good progress this afternoon. Indeed, although mm. uh, there's really nothing we can do about these two. It's getting ridiculous. Seems uncomfortable during the entire meal too. We can only hope they'll be able to find some way to reconcile their differences soon. I know, I know, but nothing good ever comes from rushing these things. I've got a feeling they're gonna get over it on their own soon. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyway, we should get back to work. It shouldn't take us too much longer to finish these things up. Yeah, I think we've got maybe one mandatory task left. Yeah, and that one we just couldn't do before because the client was out at the time. Well, hopefully he's back by now. We'll go check in when we get a chance. We'll see you all again at some point then. Hope this will study for a spirit fruit ball for us. Agreed. Good luck everyone. Catch you later. Alright, let's head back to the hotel in the Garnier district then. Let's have the managers back in. That is true. 
Okay, where the... <laughs> There's a gun here, there's drinks. Where's the... Where's the traps? Oh, shoot, it's right there. Well, there we go. Trying to decide something, and I don't remember what I was trying to decide. Yep. <laughs> ah, whatever. It must not have been important if it's stuck straight in my memory. <laughs> anyway, so we're in the Garnier Street. This is the Garnier Street, right? I'm not sure it's the wrong one again, am I? I don't know, it's hard to tell from the building animation. Anyway. We need to see if that monster's there so I can keep it. Just literally kill. <laughs> uh, you can tell how it works. It's just around here. I went the longest way possible, by the way, for doing that. Just noticed. Anyway, here's hoping that the manager is in. Oh, there he is. Oh, thank you, he's the manager. He says owner noble. What's up? Welcome to Der Himmel. Might you be searching for a room? Uh, good. It seems like the owner's back. Actually, we're here about monster extermination requests you've placed. Oh, so you came to take care of that for us, did you? You all seem rather young. Are you sure you're able to handle this? We have significant experience in monster examination. Examination? Extermination, sorry. I don't foresee any problems. Can you explain what exactly you'd like us to do? Hmm, well, if you insist. The request involves the eradication of a monster currently living underneath this hotel. Underneath? You see, beneath this city lies a network of underground passages built during the Middle Ages. One of those passengers happens to lead directly to this hotel's basement. So it was originally constructed during the so-called Dark Ages. Seem to remember reading something like that in a book a while back. Yeah, these tunnels have apparently been unattended for a long time now. Correct. However, lately there seems to be a concerning increase in the number of monsters inhabiting the passage. An employee went to investigate and brought back reports of a particularly large creature in there as well. Before we'd occasionally put out requests to the guild to clear out the monsters on the ground, but that isn't an option this time, as the guild branches in the city of were closed over a year ago. Doesn't sound good. Our customers certainly won't be able to rest easy with dangerous creatures prowling under, around the new hotel. Do you think you can take care of this matter for us? Certainly. Just leave everything else. Can you explain how we're going to enter the underground passage? First, you'll need this gate. Here's a channel at the door on the opposite side of the end of this entrance hall. That will lead you down to the underground passage. However, I'm afraid I know nothing about the passenger's layout, including how vast the network of tunnels actually is. Please do be careful down there. We will. Alright, so as we're prepared, let's head down to the underground passage. Roger. We're gonna need to make sure we've got all our equipment for prep and ready. Oh my! Lady Clotilde, is it time for you to depart? Yes, I'll be stepping out for a while. But more importantly, who do we have here? Is that... No way! V... V... v Vita Clotilde? Whoa! I can't believe it! It's really her! I never thought I'd actually get the chance to meet her. Wait. Who is this now? You three! Don't just stand there staring! You're in the presence of the legendary opera singer Vita Clotilde! The Azure Diva herself! The Azure Diva, huh? Hmm, I do recall hearing that name at some point. Wait, you don't know who she is? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Opera is a world unto itself. I expect there are multitudes who have never heard of me before. I'm Vita Clotilde, an opera singer. I'd be delighted if you would come and hear me sing sometime. It's a pleasure to meet you. She's really pretty. By the way, I couldn't help but notice your uniform. You're all students, eh? Did you come here in hopes of getting my autograph by any chance? Oh, of course we did! One other reason could we possibly have to be here? Okay, kill your jet, you two. 
<clears throat> uh, we're all students from Thor's Military Academy in Thrissner. We came to Captain on a field study, started making our rams and ended up here. <laughs> what a way to take a wind out of my sails. What's a military academy, you say? Does that mean you've come to take care of the beast in the underground passage? Yep, just about to get started. Just bleed that monster to us. We'll have it down from the camp before you know it. I'm relieved to hear that, but I've been quite worried ever since I first heard about it. Still, you said you're here on a field study. My, my schools these days certainly put their students through some challenging coursework. <laughs> I doubt there are any other ac academies in the country with a curriculum quite like ours. Ah, I'm sorry. I need to be on my way or I'll be late for my rehearsal. If you'll excuse me. Our apologies for delaying you. <laughs> Not at all. It made for a pleasant diversion. I wish you all the best with your field study. I'm sure it won't be easy. Wow. She's even prettier in person than she is in the photographs. Yeah, that's a comparison, the real deal. Oh no, we forgot to get her autograph. Aw, oh, that's a shame. So, she seems to be a fine woman. Not only beautiful, but considerate and patient as well. Yeah, I got that impression too. So she's a famous opera singer, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't take too much coaxing to become a fan of hers, too. Hmm. What's wrong, Fee? Probably nothing. Anyway, there's some creature waiting down there for us to serve an eviction notice. The door to the underground is on the right-hand side of the hall once we're ready to go. Well, now that those pair are done geeking out, where is the... Oh. And away we go. Well, the door's unlocked now, but it sounds like it's quite a maze down there. Yeah, we should probably make sure we're well prepared before going in. It also seems like a wise idea to make sure we've finished all our other tasks first. After finishing exploring the underground passage, the day's food study will end. It will no longer be possible to complete any quests that have been left unfinished. When you mention that, do we have anything that isn't finished? No. Because we did them all thinking that we wouldn't be waiting. Oh, whatever. And we did them all thinking that we'd do this. Better. Better. So this is what the underground passage looks like inside. Wow. It's crazy they built something like this in the Middle Ages. Even the monster would have to us pretty deep inside, too. Laura, V, just be sure. You're both ready to be on exploring, right? Of course. Yeah. If I couldn't be of service in situations like these, it'd be pointless for me to be here at all. Same here. I've got your back. I think it's about time we finally finally formed a successful combat link for you. We may have different approaches to combat, but we both show our true worth on the battlefield. I doubt you wish to bring further shame upon yourself, but I feel the same. True. I'll try to match the rhythm of your breathing. Hmm. We'll do everything we can to support you two. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Uh, still the. Didn't think that'd open. The real question is where in the balls is this box? Because the chest there, the chest there. Okay, we're doing this. Monster, monster, get your butt out my way. Is that a treasure chest? Yes, that is. And that's mine. I could have run away. Damn right. Leave for your petty little lives. Anyway. Behold the power of your game. Also, the lighting in here is broken. <laughs> it's so dead. I have one fat looking bat. Now, uh, up here. See, I'm telling you, the skill to throw oh, with chest, chest is the best. <laughs> you never lose anything. Is it done? Um. Wait, three? That's not good. One of these wonderful things where it's like, you have to get us the right chest. This would make a great training area. I envy the people who live around here. Only you would see an underground passage and think about training.
Someone's talking by the way. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> uh. Oh, a treasure chest! Where are the three? Alright. Trap once is in a minute. Going. Alright, trap, bring it. Bring it on! Hostile spotted. That'll be one of three. My turn! Okay, let's just need to link. Ladies, who wants to pair it up? That's a better question. Which one is really a half? Uh go no. Screw it. There! I'm trying to remember which one of the ladies Elliot has a higher I'll link. I don't remember. Get it there. Three. Okay, right now. Right. Go ahead. Here. I remember that. Yeah, that hurts. Good. My turn. Water. Uh, yeah. Lost force to sleep. Push to bed. So you don't actually need to use crap, you're not gonna. Instead, Elliot, you can use Hydro Cannon! Because it sounds awesome. Uh, <laughs> of course! And Laura knows I can. Wait, let her do that. Uh, I take care of most of them. Huh. Ta da! Is everybody okay? I'm trying to think there was a reason I had such ridiculously weak gear on everyone. Oh well, what'd I get? Genbu! Ah! And a heart attack! <laughs> uh, let's get this over with. Okay. Here we go! I'm gonna check what level we are. 30. <laughs> okay, let's just do this. There! I'm gonna check what level we are. To gauge the opponent's strength. Another chance! Broken. And. You're finished! Yeah. <laughs> Right! But I can just right. do this, gotta prove how weak we are. GG. Right. Yeah. Oh, we did it! We aren't hard, huh? Close this car in the game, block. Can't remember what difficult we're on here. Uh, I think it's hard. Which, oddly enough, according to one of my mates, isn't actually hard if you're on your game. It's like the only way to get challenges if you do Nightmare Devil Rolling. And I'm sort of going, but I don't want to be stuck in Chapter 1 for 14 fucking episodes. Because it can, it's good, but you know what I mean? If you want to progress the story, you don't want to be stuck in a loop, whatever. Anyway. Thank you. Moving on down the corridor. Funnily enough, it's all lined. Uh, okay. Go left and then left. Again and try not to walk into someone this time. Gone. Good. Right. Go. Okay, and ignoring them. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da weak as hell. Run beyond. Run to your master. Anyway. Um. I think a lot of Vyloders did, if I remember right, make a good training in. I think. Maybe. Possibly. If it isn't obvious, I don't actually remember. <laughs> it has been what? Two years? Three years? I think it's been more like three, yeah. I feel old now. <laughs> anyway. Dangerous foe. Stay on guard. I'm not the only one that just thinks this is a bigger version of what the last thing I was fighting was. Look at it. That must be it. Yeah, let's say the monster of the hotel's owner asked us to deal with. Laura, V, you two ready? Uh, of course. I'd like to ask that you put V and myself on the front lines for this battle. Gotta have another go at the combo link, huh? Hmm, well, this is as good a chance as any. Alright, Laura and V will take point for this fight, the rest of us will back you up. Let's do this. We have nothing to fear! Okay, there's a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. Mine. What the fuck? Look at their link and tell me if you think that's gonna stay together. Probably this. That one. 
good. Go! Probably do that one. I'll take you up! Okay. <laughs> I'll handle it. Right. Lady. Please don't destroy the world. And if you are, at least make a loot too. Here! That ain't gonna work. Right. Okay, that is like an ace. Okay, that is a new resounding beat right now. Alright, go away. Okay. Uh, my turn. Okay, right. Uh, Earth Cleaver. I want to break the bed, but it costs too much. So, Earth Cleaver it is. Uh, off guard. Not meant to have parts yet. <laughs> not using it. I said, Link is a vibe, look. Let's go together. Go! Go fuck this one. We can't do any skills. Huh. No! Bad enemy. You do rock. You can do rock, but you can't do. Rock? There's not many to have Okay. Uh, flash grenade. I'm trying yeah. to stop it from casting, if you can tell. Work? That's not work. Fuck you, Sid. You really don't want it casting, so. Eat one of these! Don't cast it! I'm almost impressed! What the fuck is this? Um. This is bad, that's what that is. <laughs> Holy mother of god! Go. Yo Hall was like, we don't need to use that instead. Okay, Fergus only for him. I don't even know what that does, by the way. My <laughs> turn. Alright, fuck it, kick it out. Here! Yeah, you know what I said to Elliot? That we don't need to use this skill too, because you never need to heal. Yeah. Huh? Went too long if he was sober. My turn. Lady! Hey. Okay. Alright, fight. Why can't you. Ladies? Uh, fireball. Just activate. What? Anyway, what I should do right. is get Elliot to do this. Give it up, everyone. He lost all. Now what that does is if one increases our defense and two lets us okay. regenerate HP. He lost all. No. The main upside we have in a fight is pointless now. This is it. Target locked. It is what? I don't know what this does, by the way. Well, alert, girl. And I heal. Of course. Not that. Not doing it then. Fuck us out of it. Wait, that's it. Perfect. I've just noticed this. I've used a lot of EP. My turn. I can do it. Okay. There we go. Here we go, Andy. What? It's only burning it if nothing else. Huh. We've got so cool looking art. Look at you too. That was the main reason I did that. Right. Elliot's probably the only one who could do a pack. Hey, go, Cannon. Focus activate. I really My turn. Still lot, huh? Okay. Can't do that one anymore. Come on, excited. Arcus, activate. Ha! It managed to scale two of this. Of course. It really scales two of this, so I can't do any crap. Nah. So they keep burning it slowly. Ha! I wonder if I see the day when Elliot became the main attacker. Because we screwed ourselves later. What? But we're not gonna die. <laughs> you okay? Thanks. Okay. No, no, he can still die. Target locked. My turn. God damn it! Go sail. Right, right. Uh, the more side. This should help. That's new. Huh. Anyway. I still want not to instantly kill the guy, but it's not gonna happen. Right! Well, I also can't attack, so... Mm -hmm. 
Elliot, you're literally the main attack at <laughs> Blue Lullaby. Good night! Okay. It seriously did turn it. It's, it's Elliot Green attacking and Green can't attack. So. Uh oh. That's all. Here we go. Uh, uh, Arcus, back. Okay. I know he's gone, Pete. Yeah, Pete, go. And Pete basically stops him from casting. Work. Yeah, huh. cool. Work. There we go. That's that. Let's keep moving. Ta da. Bye. And Pete stops the opponent from casting an arc because there's that ring around them. It cancels the ring out, so they can't do it. Very handy. Also, one of the ways you can break the game completely. Just rather they music. Anyway. The other way is evasion. You just dodge everything there, it doesn't matter. Play digs. Uh. Um. Well, that was. You know, maybe you should just stop worrying about trying to form a combat like with each other. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I can see why I'd really want to. No. I don't want to hold that group back anymore than I already have. I'd like to withdraw from active combat and take a more supportive role for the duration of the field fight. Huh? Why? But, Laura, it doesn't make any sense for you not to be in the thick of that fight. Um. Uh, don't be ridiculous. If anyone should be benched, it's me. It makes sense when you consider which, what each of us bring to a fight. No, my own immaturity is the cause of this. There's still a part of me that refuses to accept you, and this is the result. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't think I was this narrow-minded. And I apologize for the distress my prejudice has no doubt been causing. I came to realize during my club activities that I still have a lot of maturing left to do. Laura? Uh, as such, Green, I wish to be withdrawn. Denied. Actually, I'm the one who will be withdrawing from, from the frontline combat. Huh? Huh? Green? This seems awfully sudden. What's your line of thinking? During all the battles we fought, one thing stood out to me. I couldn't help but notice that, under ordinary circumstances, Lorna and Fee's fighting stars complement each other perfectly. I... Well... You think so? Interesting. What do you mean? Lord is the ideal knight, standing strong in the thick of the fight, dominating, dominating enemies with her blade. And then there's Fee, the ideal vanguard, overwhelming the opposition with her speed and chasing opportunities for Laura. During the practical exam, none of us should have stood a chance against the duty. Uh, huh? Hmm, that way it does make sense. If they could form a combat like they'd be virtually unstoppable. Yeah, I don't think that's escaped you two either. That's why you keep trying to form a combat leg, but there's something stopping you from connecting with each other. Whatever it is, it's been frustrating both of you this whole time, right? Mm -hmm. This is exactly as you say. Okay, so since that's how things stand, it makes no sense for you two to just give up and withdraw from combat. In fact, considering everyone's relative strengths and weaknesses, it makes the most sense for me to fall back. This way, you'll have more chances to work together. Or work out whatever it is that's standing in the way of forming a link. You have my thanks. We'll take you up in your offer then. That's what I'd like to hear. <sighs> you really can't be audacious sometimes, you know. Just like how you were with me and Albert here. You think? I don't think I did anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> That's so you, Reed. Did not think of anything. Still, thanks to you, there might be hope for these two after all. We'll do what we can. But first, we need to get back to the hotel, right? You make a good point. Reed is temporarily unavailable to join the active party. As a result, he will be unable to participate in battle. Ah, oh, we're so bored. <laughs> okay, all we gotta do is run back to the hotel. That can't be difficult.
Huh? Something wrong, Elliot? It's, uh... Is it just me or did you guys hear some... A sonata off in the distance? Now that you mention it, I do hear music. Very faintly. I think I can make out a violin and a flute. Quite an elegant piece, too, from the sound of it. Doesn't sound pre-recorded, either. Yeah, that's how this felt learning down from here from the surface. Hmm. This way. Is this a secret passage? The music does seem to be louder here than it was before. But you know, I feel like I've heard this tune somewhere before. Hmm. We should try and see where this goes. Agreed. Let's see if there's some way to open. I had no idea there was a mechanism like this in the underground passage. I can hear the melody more clearly now too. Let's say this leads out to the surface. Okay, let's follow the passage and see where we come out. Here goes. <laughs> 